Four tickets, please. Four popcorns, please. Four drinks, please. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are at the cinema. Peppa's favourite book has been made into a movie. <laughs> Silly George, we're not seeing that scary ghost movie. Ours is really fun and not scary. Scary ghost <laughs> movies are only for grown-ups. Uh, oh, excuse me. Excuse Sorry. me. Oh, uh, oh. Sorry. <sighs> <sighs> the seats in the cinema all fold up when they're not being used. But George's seat is folding up when he's sitting in it. Excuse me. Coming through. Watch your toes. Luckily, Miss Rabbit has a special booster to hold the seat flat. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. No problem. Me again. <gasps> Who spilled popcorn? <laughs> George doesn't like it when the cinema gets dark. Whish, whish. Yay, it's starting. <gasps> <laughs> George doesn't like the loud sounds either. <gasps> it's the baddie. Yummy. Oh dear. George thinks the baddie in the movie is a bit scary. Maybe we should take George outside. But you can't miss the movie. Pepper has thought of a way to make the baddie less scary for George. Hello, George. It's me. I'm just pretending to be a buddy for the movie. I'm not really scary. Not scary? No. And this magic wand oh. will keep you extra safe. Wish! <laughs> <laughs> Plus, at the end of the story, everyone lives happily ever after. Ooh, happy! <laughs> Whoosh! <gasps> Sorry. Everyone <laughs> loves going to the cinema, and George really loves movies with happy endings. Today, Peppa and Susie are playing in the treehouse. Oh, hello, Susie. Do come along in. How awfully, terribly kind. They're pretending to be grown-ups. We should have a big, delicious cuppa. Gosh, we are having lots of weather, aren't we? <gasps> Someone is at the door. Sorry to interrupt. Your oh. mummy is here to take you home, Susie. Aww. But we were going to have a tea party like grown-ups. Can we have a sleepover in the treehouse, Grandpa? Please? Oh, um... Of course <laughs> you can. You and Susie can sleep in the treehouse and Grandpa Pig and I will camp out here to look after you. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are Yay! very excited to have a sleepover in the treehouse. Here are your sleeping bags, <laughs> pillows, <laughs> lots of cuddly toys, <laughs> and the best bit, a special starry lantern. Wow! wow. Ta-da! <laughs> All finished. Oh. Huh. Suppose I don't need these. Grandpa Pig is excited to sleep in the tent, Whoa. too. Whoa! Ah, or perhaps I do. Once he ah. has rebuilt it. <laughs> <laughs> it is bedtime now, so Granny and hmm. Grandpa Pig are going to their tent. Good night, you two. We're just here if you need us. <laughs> <gasps> Look, Susie. My shadow's really big. Ooh. <laughs> Mine is a bird. 
Tweet, tweet. And mine is a butterfly. Okay. There was a really loud noise. Gosh. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! Oh my goodness! Is it a monster? Oh. Hmm? oh. oh. <laughs> no monsters here. Just Grandpa <gasps> Pig snoring. Pepper and Susie love sleeping oh. in the treehouse. What's, what's all this then? Oh, dear. <laughs> Even with Grandpa Pig <laughs> snoring next door. George! Tonight, George is having a sleepover with Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit. All right, everyone. Time for bed. Don't worry, Mummy. I'll make sure they all go to sleep. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Come on, then. Into your sleeping bags. Quick march. Peppa <laughs> likes being in charge. Well done, Peppa. Good night, everyone. Good night. night. <laughs> Only joking. <gasps> you can't go to sleep yet. There's lots of fun things you have to do first. <gasps> George has never had a sleepover before. He is very excited. First, we have to have a midnight feast. Ah! Ooh. Oh, you've turned into ghosts. <laughs> I know a spooky story about ghosts. George, Richard and Edmund <laughs> love stories. This is a ghost story about a muddy puddle that wasn't muddy. Ahem! Paranormal apparitions, or ghosts as they're commonly known, do not exist. It is scientifically impossible. Edmund is a clever clogs. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Can I tell a story? Um, OK. Ahem. Once upon a time, there was a giant pig and a, a very small rabbit. Squeak, squeak, squeak! And they chased each other forever and ever. <laughs> the end. <laughs> that was a good story. Oh, I've got another one. This one is about... George, Edmund and Richard have turned into ghosts again. <laughs> Silly George. Oh, do you know what's next? Yay! We have to stay up very late until, um, 100 o'clock. Ready? Oh. I don't think George understands sleepovers. <laughs> How's everything going, Peppa? They're fast asleep, Mummy. Well done. I think you've earned a midnight feast. Hooray! George and his friends like playing sleepover games, but they love to sleep. Peppa Pig and her friends are at the aquarium today. They're all pretending to be fish. <laughs> This is an octopus. It has eight long wibbly wobbly legs. Ooh. Actually, an octopus only has two wibbly wobbly legs. The other six are wibbly wobbly arms. Rip wobb, rip wobb. Wow! I wish I had a rainbow tail. <gasps> Let's be mermaids, Susie. <laughs> but we don't have mermaid tails. But we can pretend. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! 
Pepper and Susie are pretending they are mermaids with long, lovely tails. Hello, seahorses. We can swim around just like you. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <gasps> it's so pretty. What is it? This is an oyster. <laughs> it has a pearl inside. <gasps> a pearl? What's a pearl? It's a very lovely shiny object. Can we open it and see it? An oyster only opens when it's ready, so we'll just have to be patient. Hmm. I can't see the pearl. Excuse me, Mr Oyster. Can you open, please? We're being really patient. Can you go, ah, like at the dentist? Hmm. Um. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> oh, it's not working. <gasps> it's so tickly. <laughs> Let's tickle it open. Mermaid Pepper and Mermaid Susie are trying to tickle the oyster so it'll open. They tickle. And tickle, and tickle, but the oysters still won't open. It's not working. We'll never see the pearl. We'll just have to wait. <gasps> it's the pearl. It's so pretty. <laughs> the oyster has finally opened. The pearl inside is very lovely indeed. Rip-wob! But I want to see the pearl. Can we make it open, please? <laughs> no, Danny. Oh. We have to be patient. Everyone knows that being patient can be tricky, but Pepper and Susie know that the very lovely pearl will be worth the wait. <laughs> Today, Pepper and George are at a fun fair. Have you been in the fun house yet? What's a fun house? It's a special fun fair house that has lots of silly rooms and funny hallways. <laughs> Can me and George go into the fun house? Please? Please? Hello, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Two for the fun house. To enter the fun house, Mummy Pig must buy tokens from Miss um... Rabbit. But the tokens cost more coins than Mummy Pig thought. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig. Right this way. <laughs> Hooray! Ooh! This is the Rickety Rackety Bridge. Pass through to see the rest of the fun house. <laughs> Peppa is moving very slowly and carefully across the bridge. But George thinks it's fun to go very fast. <laughs> Your way is much better, George. Whee! <laughs> Congratulations! Now you need to follow the arrows. This way, George. <laughs> These mirrors are so wobbly. The funhouse mirrors make Pepper and George look very silly indeed. This mirror makes me look so tall. And you look like you have a very big head, George. <laughs> that one makes you look really round. Round! And this mirror makes me look like Miss Rabbit. That's because I am Miss Rabbit. <gasps> <laughs> Follow me to the twisty, turny tunnel. <laughs> the funhouse tunnel spins round and round. Ooh! Whee! And it's very windy. <laughs> <laughs> Look! After the tunnel, we get to go down the slide. Slide! <laughs> I'll help you, George. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. I hope they're not lost. <laughs> How was it? The fun house was really fun. 
How fitting. Everyone loves the fun house because the fun house is very... Today, Peppa and her family are in the fancy dress shop. They're looking for a Halloween costume. I hope we haven't left it too late to find a costume. Next, oh. please. <laughs> Can I have a spooky vampire costume, please, Miss Rabbit? Sorry, Peppa. Mm. I'm afraid we've just sold our last vampire costume. <gasps> oh. Uh, not to worry, Peppa. We'll find a different costume that's just as good. Right, Miss Rabbit? Uh, of course. Let's go and look. <laughs> Peppa is trying on different costumes. Ta-da! She tries a lemon. Lemons aren't as spooky as vampires. She tries a lovely flower. So lovely. It's lovely, but it isn't spooky. And even a... Whoa. Pencil. Gosh, hmm. how unusual. <laughs> Do you have any oh. spooky costumes left, Miss Rabbit? <gasps> I'm afraid we're all sold out. But we oh. do have some spooky bits of costume left over. Maybe you can make a brand new monster, Peppa. <gasps> yes. Let's go! Yay! Oh. <laughs> Peppa and George are looking for things to oh. make a spooky costume. What about these monster keys? <laughs> now my teeth are spooky. Look, Peppa, bat wings. <gasps> Very spooky. <gasps> Dinosaur tails are very spooky, oh. George. <laughs> spooky <gasps> hat, spooky face paint, spooky spider web. <laughs> oh. Why don't we try these on? <laughs> Peppa is trying on her brand new <laughs> monster costume. <laughs> My word! That's the scariest costume I've ever seen! It's perfect! Peppa feels very spooky in her Halloween costume. <laughs> Peppa loves making spooky monster costumes. But Mummy and Daddy think the price is quite spooky, too. <laughs> a super strike for a super bowler. Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> I want to get a super strike, too. I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. OK. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese! Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead. Like this. to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa. Hmm. Oh. Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lane. Whoops! My turn. Whoa! Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Hmm. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Now you 
try, Pedro. OK, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. <laughs> oh, this is fun! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. <laughs> but Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> Watch this. Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. Oh. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler. Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. <laughs> Are volcanoes real, Madam Gazelle? They are. Ooh. But do not worry, children. There are no volcanoes close by. Hooray! Except the little pretend ones that we are going to make for today's very special science experiment. Oh. We will make our volcanoes using glue and newspaper, like this. First, you dip the paper in the glue, and then you stick it all to the beaker, and voila, a volcano. Everyone is enjoying making their volcanoes. The glue is very sticky and messy. <laughs> and soon, they are all finished. <laughs> Wonderful, children. Now it is time to paint your creations. <laughs> Let's make ours red, Pepper. <laughs> ours can be blue. blue. Green, like a big tree. Real volcanoes are dark and grey with red lava. <laughs> but Pepper and her friends are making their mini volcanoes bright and colourful. <laughs> Now it is time for the science experiment. But first, everyone must put on special gloves, glasses and coats to make sure they are safe. You all look like wonderful scientists, children. Now we are ready to make lava. <gasps> but do not worry. The lava we are making is just pretend and very safe. Phew! <laughs> First, we add some vinegar to our volcanoes. Be careful not to spill. Uh, uh, Perfect. And now, I will add a secret magic ingredient to each of your volcanoes. Nobody knows what the special magic ingredient is. Finally, take your cup of baking soda and pour a little inside the volcano. Then stand back. Madame Gazelle's volcano is erupting, just like a real volcano. Your turn, children. Hooray! <laughs> wow! The lava is red. Ours is blue. Candy Cat and Gerald Giraffe's lava is green and very foamy. Lava. No, Candy. You made a muddy puddle. Everyone loves making volcanoes, but everyone really loves making colourful muddy puddles. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are playing in the sandpit. <laughs> Peppa is playing with toy cars. She has a fire engine, an ambulance, a digger and... George, where's the police car? The police car is lost in the sand. Where did you put it, George? Police car? <laughs> it's OK. We'll find it together. It'll be... Aha! Adventure! Adventure! 
Peppa and George are pretending they are in a big sandy <laughs> desert. Let's take the fire engine. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Peppa and George are using the fire engine to search the sand. Have a drink. Whee! Lucky the hose is full of orange juice. <laughs> Peppa and George love orange juice. <sighs> Come on, we still need to find the police car. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> Over there. That sounds like. <gasps> Police car! I told you we'd find it! Yay! Danger! <laughs> now we just have to dig it out. <gasps> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> uh, this is going to take forever. Aha! Where are you going, George? <laughs> You've turned into a giant! <laughs> Pepper and George have found the police car. Nino, Nino, Is George? Um, hmm. But it looks like they'll have to go on another adventure <laughs> to find the digger. <laughs> Tonight, Mummy and Daddy Pig are going out for a Valentine's Day meal. Uh -huh. Mummy Pig has ordered a taxi. <gasps> it's almost here! Hooray! <laughs> Right awaits, madam. <gasps> oh, um... Mummy Pig has accidentally ordered a special taxi called a limousine. <laughs> a limo? How romantic! And Whoa. tickly! <laughs> Where are we off to, sirs and madams? Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, if you please, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Pepper and George are going there for dinner. Dinner! <laughs> <laughs> okay, calm down, you two. <sighs> oh, this music reminds me of Venice. <laughs> what a wonderful trip that was. <gasps> <gasps> now it's a disco Yay! limo! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> we didn't have this in Venice! <laughs> Aww! <laughs> Care for a oh. chocolate, Mummy Pig? <laughs> oh, don't mind if I can. Can we have some, Daddy? Chocolate! <laughs> um, okay, but not too many. Peppa and George love chocolate. <laughs> Maybe a little too much. I guess I'll have this one, then. <laughs> Can we have the disco music again? <laughs> Just until Granny and Grandpa's house, please. <laughs> oh. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 
just like that time in Paris, Grandpa Pig. Everyone <laughs> loves celebrating Valentine's Day, but Mummy and Daddy Pig love their disco limo ride most of all. <laughs> <laughs>